Welcome back mga kamatlets. It's me again, Teacher Robert. So, this is our first video for the second quarter. So, our topic in this video is all about variation. So, variation. So, what is in this video, you will know how the definition of variation and the different type of variation now and then we have we can you can also that uh know how to uh, determine the situation or determine what kind of variation that the particular situation describe no we have or illustrate so we can have so let's start with the definition of variation so, what is variation? Variation is defined by any change in some quantity due to a change in another. In short, variation is all about the relationship between quantities. The relationship between quantities. So, kanang yun yung to yung nag, tungkol sa relasyon or relasyon ng mga quantities. So, we have Variation can be of different type according to the pattern of changing or relationship or variables. So, these are the types of variation. So, we have the four types. We have direct, we have inverse, joint, and combined. Now, we have direct variation. We have y varies directly as x. So, the relationship is that as x increases, y also increases. As x decreases, y also decreases. That is direct. So, kung isa tumaas, if the other increase, the other the other also will increase. If the if x decrease, then decrease. So the other will also decrease. So same ah direction. So if one is doubled, the other is also doubled. If one is tripled. The other also is triple. Direct variation. So, that is direct variation. So, equation is y is equal to kx. So, where k is the constant. K is the constant. So, k here. So, paano nagkakaroon ng k? K is the constant of variation. So, ito yung, uh, when you see constant of variation, ito yung hindi nagbabago. Constant. Constant nga. It will never change as is. So, di nagbabago. So, inverse variation is a variation if y varies inversely as x. As x increases, y is decreases. Kabaliktaran. Another term for inverse is indirect. No? Indirect. So, we have... So, kung yung isa tumaas, ang isa kabaliktaran, bumaba. Okay. X increase, Y decrease. As X decreases, Y increases. Halimbawa, for example, kapag sa isang kapag kumain kayo sa isang restaurant, ano sa isang ang tawag don yung tindahan na kung saan bumili kayo ng isang pizza, pizza, no? yung pizza hat delivery <laughs> okay di ba may meron ng particular number of slices halimbawa yung slice ay merong labing dalawa or labing dalawang slice so yung the number of slices that you are going to uh, get or yung kung number yung yung slice number of slices na dapat mo yun yung yun yung makain mo, di ba? Depende. Depende. The number of slices that you, you will get, it depends upon of ilan kayo. Di ba? How many person uh, would uh, divide those or kung ilan kayo kakain sa isang pizza. No? Nung, nung pizza. So, halimbawa, apat kayo. So, do labing dalawa yung slice so tigta tatlo pero dumating yung dalawa ang kaibigan nyo, anin na kayo so dalawa na lang, tigta dalawa so as the number of person increase, the number of slice decrease 
Yun yung inverse, di ba? So, as x decreased, y increased. So, the equation is y is equal to k over x. So, joint variation. Okay, direct, before we will discuss joint and combine this, direct and variation, it is a kind of variation that uh, deals with the relationship between two, only two variables. Only two variables. So, eh, dalawa lang yung uh, dinidescribe ng ganitong ori ng variation. Direct and inverse. So, it only involves two variation. While joint and combined, it involves two or more variables. Two or more quantities. Okay, halimbawa, joint variation. Y varies directly to two or more quantities. Ito yung, uh, para siyang direct variation, it is a kind of direct variation, para siyang direct variation, pero, gumagamit siya ng more than two variables. Yung direct, dalawa lang, di ba? Direct, uh, it involves only two variables. Whereas, joint variable, variation, rather, joint variation, it involves two or more, or more, more than two, more than two uh, variables. So, ibig sabihin, para siyang direct, pero yung number of variation, kaibahan nila is the number of variables involved. So, joint variation is why varies directly to two or more quantities. Okay. Equation is y is equal to kxz. So, kxz. Oh, xz. xyz na yung involved. Ito, xy lang. Dalawa lang. So, ito tatlo. x, y, and z. Okay? So, combined variation is a combination of direct and inverse. It is a combination of direct and inverse. So, it involves two, uh, more than two variables. Okay, Y varies directly to some quantities and varies inversely to some other quantities. Like, for example, uh, the equation is Y is equal to KZ over X. Because this Z is directly and then X is inversely to Y. Z is directly to Y, but it is in, X is inversely to Y. Okay? A constant of variation. Ano ito? What is this constant of variation? What is this? Okay. Constant of variation is, for example, in direct variation, sinasabi ko na, as I've said a while ago, constant of variation is that it is the part of the equation that never change. Constant, hindi nagbabago yung value niya. Hindi nagbabago. As is. So, that is constant of... So, paano kinukuha yung constant of variation sa direct variation. So, how we can get the constant of variation in the direct variation? So, so the equation of the direct is y is equal to kx. Ito yon di ba? y is equal to kx. Ito yung, this equation describe a direct variation. Wa. So, we have, so, upang kunin yung constant, so, key as is, key is the constant of variation, key stands for the constant of variation, we have key is equal to y over x. So, the constant of variation of the direct variation, the constant is the quotient of the two variable, or the quotient of the two quantities. So, you are going to divide the two quantities in order to get the constant of variation. So, divide. So, actually, dito siya nang galing. Dinerive natin. So, kunin yung x, o paano makukuha yung k. So, all over x, all over x, left and right, all over x. So, that is, k is equal to y over x. y over x. So, y divided by x. Okay. Direct variation naman. So, paano kunin yung constant of variation sa in, ano, inverse variation? Sa inverse variation. So, ito yung equation ng inverse variation. So, y is equal to k over x. Then, the k is equal to xy. So, the constant of variation, the inverse variation is the product of the two quantities. You are going to multiply the two quantities in order to get the constant of variation. Kuha? Pangatlo, 
sa joint variation naman, paano kinukuha yung constant variation? How are we going to get the constant of variation in joint variation? So, in joint variation, y is equal to kxz. This is the expression. y is equal to kxz. So, in order to get as the constant, so you are going to divide xz both sides. So, that is k is equal to y over xz. So, y divided by the product of xz. Then, the combined variation is... You are going. You can get the constant of variation by. We have k is equal to the product of x y over z. Cross multiply so that is k z over x y then all over z that is k is equal to x y over z. This is the constant. This is how we are going. We will use in order to find the constant of variation. Okay. So example, so direct variation example. So the distance d traveled by a car varies directly as as its speed is. Di ba? Ang distansya, the distance traveled by a car, nagdi depende sa kung gaano kabilis ang isang sasakyan, ang takbo ng isang sasakyan. In is in a specific uh, uh, amount of time, no? We have the distance they traveled by a car varies directly as its speed is. So, paano tina translate yan into uh, this phrase? How we're going to write an equation from this phrase? So, example yan ng direct variation. So, kung nakikita as you observe, direct variation uses this phrase varies directly. So, kung ang isang sa sentence, if one sentence or if one phrase use these words varies directly, that sentence describe a direct variation. Kana, no? Oh, th these words ra, these words is the key word. Key. Ito yung susi kung paano malalaman na ito ay direct at hindi direct. Varies directly. So, varies directly. So, kung itatranslate natin into right, to right equation, so D is equal to K S. Diba? Ito yun. Uh, this is the standard form for the direct variation. D is equal to K S. D, then varies directly, K, then S. Okay? We have another example, the width the weight W of an object is directly proportional. So, aside from the varies directly, gumagamit din si direct variation ng mga salitang directly proportional. So, dalawa. So, dalawa ang ginagamit niya, no? Varies directly at directly proportional. Directly proportional. It uses directly proportional. So, another word is directly proportional. So, dalawa. We have aside from direct, varies directly, directly proportional is also used in describing direct variation. So we have this sentence describe a direct variation. So we can have this one W is equal to PM. W is equal to PM. Now, another is we have that one. We have example if the given example is the table of values this is the table of values now the table of values we have x and y so as i've said in order to determine whether this table of values describe a direct variation you are going to get the constant so constant so first this is the direct variation let's find out if the constant or the quotient of this pair of numbers is the same, the same, or the quotient of this the pairs of number, the quotient of x and y is are the same. So we will get k is equal to y over x. So we have two o divided by one is two. Then eight divided by four is two. Sixteen divided by eight is two. 24 divided by 12 is 2. So, therefore, the constant is 2. 
constant is 2. Now, so uh, we are going to write the equation. The equation is y is equal to substitute 2 to k. We have y is equal to 2, 2x. Y is equal to 2x. So, inverse variation. Inverse variation. The example is the rate R at which a man types a specific manuscript varies inversely as the time he is spent in timing. Typing, rather. We have inverse varies inversely. So, ito naman ginagamit ni inverse variation. Varies inversely. Varies inversely. May salitang inversely. Okay. We have R is equal to K over T. K over T. Diba ito? R is equal to K over T. Another example is the base B of a triangle is inversely proportional to its altitude pitch. Inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. Okay, we have B is equal to K over H. K over H. So, another so, if the given example is the table of values, we have x. So, the, the variable is used is x and y. We have, these are 124, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4, 6. Now, we will use the equation in finding the, the constant. The formula in finding the constant, we have t is equal to x over y. x over y. So, we are, uh, now we, x times y rather k is equal to x times y so we'll get the product of the two variables so whether the product of these two variables or the two quantities are constant now we have 1 times 24 is 24 2 times 12 is 24 3 times 8 is 24 4 times 6 is 24 so pareho sila 24 so therefore the constant is 24 this is inverse variation this table describes an inverse variation. So, if the equation is y is equal to 24 over x. By substituting 24 to k. Okay. So, joint variation. Joint variation, example. Again, joint variation is a direct, same like a direct variation, but they are different in the number of variables involved or the quantities involved. So, we have the area A of a parallelogram varies jointly so varies jointly yung ginagamit as the base B and altitude H so tatlong quantities A, B, H so we have A is equal to K, B, H K, B, H okay another example is the volume V of a cylinder varies jointly as its height H and the square of the radius R volume of a cylinder varies jointly varies jointly as its height or the H and the square take note the square square of the radius so we have V is equal to PH R squared the square of the radius R squared is square of a radius okay take note ah, if that is that sentence okay. combined variation we have the pressure p of a gas varies directly as its temperature t and inversely as its volume v we have it is a combination of direct and inverse variation we have the pressure p of a gas varies directly as t and inversely as its volume v so we have P is equal to KT. Diba si T is directly to P. And inversely si V. So, KT over V. We have okay, another example. We have A varies directly as the cube of B. And inversely as the product of C and D. So, we have A is equal to K. B cube over C D. Take note, varies directly as the cube, cube, uh, cube of B. Take note that one. So, cube, so cube of B. We say in raised to the power of three. So we have A is equal to cube B cube 
over C D. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. See you around. See you to our next video. Have a good day, everyone. Keep safe always. Bye bye.